Okay, so we just got through harvesting the donor on Adrian's surgery. Uh, we did a Max Harvest Plus hair transplant, and we were able to extract approximately 80 square centimeters of tissue. So if you take a look here, you'll see the amount of strips we have here. We have six separate strips, each in approximately 40 centimeters in length, uh, yielding about 80 centimeters. This is a foot right here, okay? So what's so important is if anyone watches my videos is to look at the level of transaction as far as how the grafts are cut and if there's any transaction of the follicles. And as you can see, I consistently got six gorgeous strips, which is going to yield this patient a lot of hair. You're talking, uh, I'll lowball the numbers and say he has about 15,000 hairs here on this particular case. So it was an excellent harvest. And uh, we keep these grafts, when they're out like this, people don't realize, but we're constantly hydrating them. They don't sit out on our table long. This is just for the camera, and that's why it's wet in the background, because we're constantly hydrating the strips just to show the camera now. Anything you want to add? Oh, uh, yeah. What I would like to know, Dr. Bolton, is uh, compared to what Adrian had before, he had a follicular unit extraction surgery. I, I believe it took 12 to 14 hours. Uh, yes. Show me the representation of what he got on that FUE, the okay. equivalent of hairs. Okay, the equivalent of hairs would be on this one piece here, from here to here. Tops. How many hairs is that? Uh, let's say 1,500 hairs. He got about 1,500 hairs Tops. on his FUE. Tops. And uh, how many of them actually grew on his head? Uh, not many. If you had a guess. Very low yield. Probably 7,500 hairs. 750 hairs. Excuse me. 750 hairs. Okay, so they yielded 1,500 worth of tissue, meaning there's those holes in the back of his head. Yes. 1,500 holes. He yielded holes. about 1,500 follicular units. Yeah. And he got the probably uh, what grew was probably about 750 to 1,000 hairs. Okay, so now he has how many sitting there? This uh, is approximately about 80 centimeters, and I'm gonna, if it was perfect graphs, it'd be about uh, 16,000 hairs, but because he had the follicular unit extraction, there's some areas with holes, so I'm gonna lowball it and say about 15,000 hairs. Okay, so he got 15,000 hairs, yes. compared to his last procedure where he got about 1,500 hairs. At best of which only half of those grew. <laughs> right, correct. So he didn't even get 10% of what you got today. Correct. And he sat in a chair for 12 hours. Correct. They decimated his donor. Correct. Okay, and this, after all this, will only have one scar, right? We have one scar, which will be better than well, what we have with this. Maybe we can here. take a look at that. Yeah, and, uh, I'll show he's, you that one screen. Yep, he's got one scar, and this took you how long to excise? Uh, half hour, tops. 30 minutes. Tops. Okay, and how long will it take your staff to cut, dissect that tissue? Uh, about two hours, tops. Okay, and he'll be done? Place, place is another two and a half hours. So, okay, so this whole procedure will be less than six hours from six start hours to finish. Six hours from start to finish. For 15,000 hairs? Yes. Awesome. Excellent. Why would anyone do an FUE? Uh, I don't think they should. Uh, does the results correspond to how many hairs you get, generally speaking? Of course. So if I get 10,000 to 15,000 hairs, I'll always do better than someone who gets 1,000 to 3,000 hairs? Simple math. How come people don't see it that way? They're afraid of the scar. Oh, they don't like that one scar in the back. They're afraid of the scar, but you'll talk to my patient after, and you'll see the difference of an FUE versus a linear uh, strip. So people think the FUE is a better scar, even though they get the buckshot look in the back. Correct. Thousands of dots. That's what they believe. They're, they think that's better. They're misled by the internet. The uh, internet misleading them. But they'll find it out when they go back for their second procedure and they can't get much hair. Correct. Right. Whereas we could do another procedure and get a lot of hair again without scars. Correct. Yeah. Okay. They just do a lot of good marketing until the people figure it out. That's right. So yeah. take one last look because I got to put this in water and then pour for work. A lot of hair. Mucho I think a lot of people would be very jealous and look long and hard to try and find a doctor who could get someone that much hairs in one shot. Half a day.